flex dance to the rhythm and you do all the what's up cuties welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of teen mom so i'm gonna give you guys a little recap of what happened in the last part it was a very 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 crazy very hectic a whole bunch of stuff was going on and i left y'all on a little cliffhanger you know i'm sorry i just had to i really had to i know a lot of y'all were upset about it but i had to do it so, my girl here, she is going through some pain right now. She's in labor, and she's about to go give birth to these twin baby girls. I don't know how she's going to eat. Like, how does her coochie even do? If you guys have not watched the last episode, you guys want to see how everything went down, then I will leave the last episode top right corner so y'all can go ahead and check out the episode and let me know what you guys think. Thing. so Rhea is here giving us a little back massage helping us out with this uh, this really tough time right now so let me see how um she's feeling like she's just having some really really bad Grimaline. back pain she went through a whole breakup and like she's trying to like not cry she's trying to not cry y'all like look at my baby my baby princess is sad like she's literally sad but we have to go we have to go to the hospital like we have to we have to get it going. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill the bowl. Um so that princess has some food while we're actually gone. And I do wanna get us some snacks to put in our bag, but I'm gonna have her go and um change her clothing and stuff like that before we do that. Um I need her to actually go and change her pad because she is stinking right now. She has school in an hour, but she not going y'all. We, we not letting her go. So, I'm going to actually have Miss Ma'am go over here, change her outfit into her um, hospital outfit real quick. And I'm going to go and brush our teeth. Try and not think about the pain right now. Um, So, we have to pay our bills, too. Our bills are 600 simoleons. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Who is more? Girl, no. Leave me alone. Y'all not gonna take all my money. Like, that's one thing y'all not gonna... Girl, leave the school early. Yes, you were supposed to be coming with us. Anyway, so we got our little hospital bag. You, is it broken? Oh, my God. You know what? It's just... It's not It's not going good for her. But we're gonna go and get grab us some snacks out of the fridge. Well, we don't have any chips, unfortunately. So we're gonna just bring us, like, a sandwich. Or something like that for the meantime. Girl, why are you upset? She's talking about she's not okay. Girl, we're not okay, okay? We are going through it right now. We are literally going through it. So what we are going to go ahead and do is bring this ball. Um, Wait, I'm pretty sure we could bring it. Okay, yeah. Bring that ball to the hospital so that we can, you know, um, we can go ahead and use it to help us induce um this pregnancy but we're gonna put this in our bag you know pack it up wait can i pack it up into a sack lunch sorry let me go and pack it into a sack lunch and let's go and put it in our hospital bag we have all the blankets and all that stuff ready to go so we're gonna put that away and oh my god when we come back baby girls are gonna be here oh my god i'm so excited for them like i really 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 am um also one thing that. You know. I also did decide that I'm going to change the twins name because you guys did like um, bring it to my attention that I kind of do want the baby girls names to be like similar in a way and like it's just cuter that way because you know they're twins and stuff so yeah we're gonna go and join her at the hospital of course our baby father has to come and then we'll also bring oh we can't bring ria with us okay well we'll bring her after so we are now currently at the willow creek hospital and um we this is how the hospital looks it's actually on the gallery all i did was search up hospital and the most popular one and it should pop up but yeah this is the hospital that we're going to be at i think this is our doctor Yes, this is our doctor right here, and um, I'm really nervous. I'm so, so, so nervous for her. Like, she's in so much pain, you guys. Oh, my God. I want to tell y'all, too, like, <clears throat> I had to record this a whole, like, three days later because my game was so broken, you guys, and I didn't even update it at all, and it was just so broken. But look at her water. Like, her water is breaking so bad from her just doing this exercise ball like my poor baby's going through it y'all look at her 
<laughs> She's going through it. It says, it says contraction pain. Delilah's contractions are definitely uncomfortable but manageable for now. Perhaps she should rest up while she can or maybe take a walk before moving becomes unbearable. One way or, the, or another, she should definitely take advantage of this calm before the storm. Oh my god. So if y'all are wondering what mod this is, this is the Realistic Childbirth mod by Panda Sama or Sama. I will leave the link of the mod down below along with um, my video that I did um, review the mod. So you guys can go and check it out. And I'm going to go and ask her, ask her to check our dilation so to see like how far along we are. But... As it looks like we are like almost ready to give birth and we gotta be 10 centimeters dilated but we also do need to get the epidural because I think she's definitely gonna get the epidural because she's having twins y'all like that's just crazy um so I will be having the uncensored version on my patreon so if you guys do want to see it in full effect <laughs> That sounds so weird, but if you guys want to see a full effect, it'll be on my Patreon link down below. Um, but for obvious reasons, I can't show you guys the uncensored version on YouTube, so we're gonna have to just, you know. But yeah, she's gonna check her dilation to see how much she's been dilating. Okay, it's dilation. You are currently one centimeter. Oh my god. Y'all were only one centimeter time. <laughs> okay, so we got quite a bit of time before it's time to, like, really give birth. Um, but she's feeling super hungry. And you guys know that we did pack our, um, our food in our little bag. So I'm going to actually have her go ahead and unpack her sack lunch. What does she want to do? She wants to chat with Rhea. First of all, where is Dwayne? Did you hear about the drama at school? Um, no. But anyways, where is... Dwayne, he's supposed to be here. And he's not even here. Like, what? She about to invite him over and cuss him out. Because why is he not here? And we have a long time to go, too. But the twins are gonna be here today. And that's the most important part, okay? Oh, we can sway together? Oh, yeah, she's gonna sway with us. She's like, it's gonna be okay. Delilah, it's gonna be okay. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god, y'all. <laughs> Not her behind the, the counter of the hospital, but look at her. <laughs> well, we have to do it because fucking, um, Dwayne isn't even here still, like, oh, he is here. But could you believe it? Like, she didn't want her to even, like, be here, like, at all because of what happened, um, before. In the last part, all that drama, it's just so much stress on Delilah that she does not need. So, she just doesn't even want to see him, like, at all. But she about to go and cuss him out because why was he not here in the first place? I mean, they are going through what they're going through. But at the same time, it is literally, it is literally your child. Like, your children are going to be born today. Like, it doesn't even matter. Like, you know, at least be there and be supportive. At least. Oh, wait. She wants to flirt with... <gasps> A connection can't be ignored, so go see if there's a spark. Worst case scenario, Amira is flattered but not feeling it. Okay, wait. Wait. Okay, she's trying to experiment. Period. I love that. Um, She's about to go and chat with the doctor, I think. Girl, no. Stay your ass inside. Okay, we're about to go and exercise on this ball. Take some walks. You know, we need to get these girlies out of our belly. Like... <laughs> They are killing us, like killing us. And we also do need the epidural. Once you reach like five um, centimeters, then we'll get the epidural. But but these sandwiches are hidden. Oh, she's super tired. Can we take a nap? <laughs> oh, we could sleep. Okay, let's go and sleep for a little bit. Maybe that will help um, the dilation a little bit. Yo, the way it says like from raw dogging it is crazy to me. Like, <laughs> I can't. A shoulder to lean on. The world seemed to have quite, to have went quiet. When Delilah was being held in her partner's arm, well, it wasn't her partner's arms, but it was her best friend's arms, okay? <laughs> she couldn't have asked for a better person to be there with her. Aww. See, that is best friend goals. Like, if you don't have a best friend that's going to be there for, while you giving birth, she not your best friend. Or they not your best friend, period. Okay? 
I'm gonna go and ask um, Sakura to go and check our dilation once we wake up and I will see you guys when that is happening. Alright you guys, so my girl, our girl Delilah is currently 5 centimeters dilated, so I think it's time for us to go ahead and get the epidural. You know, I watch so many vlogs on YouTube that I already know when, when you're supposed to get it and when it's too late to actually get it. And I'm pretty sure it is 5 centimeters. Um, as you can see right here, we were... Just two centimeters, and then we had to go and do Bronze some exercises and stuff. But we're about to go and ask her for the epidural because we need some, baby. Um, it says, just give me a moment, and I will be right over to give you the epidural. Be sure to stay very still during the process. Go and take this epidural. Stay still, girly. You know, she's feeling so much pain that she doesn't even really feel the needle even going in because of just how much pain that she's in. <laughs> So, <laughs> it's just not, it's not even that bad. It says, pain relief from receiving epidural. It says, finally, some pain relief. Getting the epidural didn't hurt at all. See, what did I tell y'all? <laughs> Delilah is feeling a slight tingly sensation, but is it is nothing compared to the contraction. She can't wait for the medication to take effect. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey. Y'all, I come in the bathroom and I'm here like our obstetrician is getting her bag blown out. Y'all, we are fully dilated. Talk to one of your obstetricians to go into labor right away. Oh my god. Okay, so we do have a different doctor that's going to be um doing this for us. Oh my god, it is time, you guys. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I'm so girl, get up! But you ruining the. I need the clips. I need the vlog. Okay, we got bread to make. These twins are not gonna be easy to take care of. I need the vlogs. <laughs> Come on, girl. What is she doing? Yeah, she about to ruin this whole process. Anyways, oh, I'm so nervous for her. Look at her. She's like so nervous. Oh, she's so nervous. She's like, okay, so we're gonna go through this. Please make sure that you are where you're really relaxed. Mm. Oh, she's pushing, y'all. She's pushing. She's pushing. Girl, I need you. I need you to record this. We need the vlogs. <laughs> we need the vlogs. <laughs> oh my god. She's like, okay, keep pushing. I feel the head, okay? I need you to push when the contractions are coming, okay? Push when the contractions are coming. <laughs> okay, so we got our first baby girl, you guys. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Like, oh. Uh. So I did get a suggestion from one of you guys and I really did like it because it had it was two D names and it goes with Delilah because you know Delilah and then the two twins. So the first baby girl name is gonna be Delaya. Okay, so it's gonna be Delaya. Delaya Hill. Okay, and the second baby girl name is gonna be Demaya. Okay, so Demaya. It's like very unique and very different, and I really like it because it has the D names. But look! Ah! The They're coming out, y'all. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at one of them. Oh, the next one's coming out. The next one's coming out. The next one is coming out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's getting crazy. It's getting crazy, y'all. It's getting very crazy. Oh, my God. Look at that baby. I'm going to cry. <laughs> and her best friend is right by our side this whole time, too. <laughs> I'm crying and throwing up like honestly like this is like literally goals like this is literally goals like I don't even know what to tell y'all but oh my god <laughs> you guys they're here oh, oh, they're oh, she's giving them kisses oh my god thank you so much doctor for to oh he looks upset oh look at our baby girls they are the cutest Oh my god. 
Hi, we got Dahlia here. I don't know where Demaya is, but I think she's back at home or something. I don't see her. Um, new baby. The baby is born. It's a relief to not have to deal with the pregnancy anymore, but a stress of great stress to have an unwanted baby to take care of. Huh? Maybe Delilah will get used to it. We'll see. Oh my God, girl! Like, are you dead? <sighs> Difficult feelings. It is hard to be near a child who inspires much more panic and sadness than it does joy. It's not the child's fault. It's not necessarily the parent's fault either. Where Delilah to try to explain it to others, she would be met with nothing but horror and judgment. Yet, how is one supposed to force themselves to not feel the sadness they feel and to feel a happiness they do not? And perhaps there is love for this child somewhere within Delilah, perhaps. But as of now, it cannot be found or felt overrun by upset. Oh my god. Girl, uh, it was never that deep. Like, it was never that deep. Can we go and um give her a hug for, like, honestly being there with us this whole time? I don't know where Dwayne went. He probably left again. But thank you so much, best friend, for being there for us. I appreciate you so, so, so much. All right, so we're going to go back home, you guys, and spend time with the girlies. And, oh! I can't believe we have our twins. The twins are here. All right, y'all. We are home, and Delilah is just super sad from her past relationship, and she just wasn't feeling like to go into the room and taking care of the kids, the babies. Their skin is glitched, though, so this is their actual skin complexion. Um, but when they get sat down, they're, like, dark skin. I don't know what glitch that is. Um, but yeah, that's that. <laughs> but I'm already annoyed by these object babies crying up in my ear and stuff. We're gonna go and breastfeed the both of them. Rhea has been helping us out this whole time, and she is honestly just exhausted um, from just taking care of them because they're just crying and crying and crying. Um, but hi, Princess. Princess is here. Oh, she's like chilling with the babies. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I always see, like, the dog, like, on TikTok where the dogs are, like, really protective over the babies. And I feel like Princess will be exactly like that. Like, completely like that. But, um, we're gonna go and breastfeed. Is this, I don't know, is this, okay, so this is Demaya. Demaya is over here. And then this is the, oh, I have to get used to their names. <laughs> um, but yeah. This is Delaya. Delaya and Zamaya. Okay, Delaya and Zamaya, y'all. Yes, we're gonna go and breastfeed them. They're gonna go to sleep as well. I was thinking that I'm gonna just have them be object babies. Um, maybe just like for a little bit longer. And then I'm gonna probably just age them up, y'all. But I have an idea. Their room is so cute. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, so we're gonna go and, um... Clean out the bad food. They are literally like pound on this door. Let's see who comes out. Y'all are here humping it and sucking the food. <laughs> like, girl, you are too old to be doing this. Too old. You need to relax, right? You need to relax. You look a mess. Is she yelling at us? Oh, bitch. No. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm sorry, you're right. That was a bit inconsiderate. We'll try to keep the noise down. Thanks for letting us know, good neighbor. So why was she trying to argue with us? We'll keep it like that. We'll keep it just like that. Don't try and yeah, don't try and do that. I'm not I'm not for the games. <laughs> I'm not for the games, baby. Oh, look at Princess. The princess is our rider, y'all. She about to ride or die for us. Period. Um Anyways, let's go and give her some love because we have been um gone for a while. Oh my gosh, she's literally upset with us, y'all. Okay, we girl, we are not about to fight with you. We just gave birth. I don't have time for your old negness, okay? But anyways, I'm gonna give some love and some princess because I missed her. I missed her so much. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and feed her a little treat. Give her a little treat. And I'm gonna go and fill her bowl and call her to eat. While the twins are sleeping. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I talk too soon. Talk way too soon. Okay, is Rhea about to go to sleep? Oh, no, she's not. Okay, she's, um, she needs some social. But I think she's going to stay with us for a little bit. Um, and just to help out. See, look, she's already going to go and help out. She's, oh, my God, I love her so much. We got to do something for Rhea, y'all. Like, we got to, like, surprise her with something or, like, do something, you know, for her. 
Bitch, if you don't get out of my house, I swear, I don't even care if I just gave birth, I will beat your ass. You are too grown to be acting like this. Too grown. I was just cleaning up her stuff. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, y'all can let me know um, if you guys want me to age up. I mean, I think I will age them up in the next episode. Um, or maybe in this episode, I will just age them up. Go and clean and replace this. She's just crying in her bed. Like, I feel bad for her, but, like, honestly, I don't know. But this pregnancy, like, made her gain, like, weight. Like, some good weight, y'all. Like, she is thick. She is thick. <laughs> so, I did forget that we actually do have bills that we need to pay right now. So, I think that's what we're going to go ahead and do is go and pay our bills go and pay our rents okay and then we don't even have money to pay for our utility bills i mean what will we do but <laughs> look how much it is y'all we got five simoleons <laughs> y'all like there's no way there's absolutely no way like we have five some more. Okay, but it's okay. We're going to be making videos and stuff, and we'll be good. Where is Princess? I hope she's not barking in the... Okay, she's not. Let's say she's barking all up in the baby's room, but we're going to get our mail. I think it's our groceries um package thing that we signed up for, our subscription. Oh, my God. And now you're dirty, right? Now you're dirty? Oh, we got to open it, but it's going to be 50 simoleons, and we don't even got that. So, <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it so much. Princess needs to get a, um, a shower, so a bath, I mean. So let's go and give her a little bath. And the twins are actually doing pretty good, you guys. They're, like, smiling. They have purple eyes. We love that. So I'm going to go ahead and age them up, y'all. So let's go and give her a bath real quick. And then I'm going to fill this bowl. She still needs to pee. I don't really know. I think it's a glitch with the dogs. I actually have to bring her downstairs. We should definitely... Call him over here and cuss him out. Should we cuss him out, y'all? I think we should. But, like, I don't even want him to see uh, the children, though. Like, I want him to be, like, out. Like, I don't want him to see them at all. Because he wasn't there when we gave birth. And we, you know, were hurting, contractions, all that stuff. He wasn't there. So I just don't even feel like he deserves to even see his kids. I know that sounds, like, really, really effed up, but... He wasn't there, like, you know? Oh! <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, she got a, she failed. I mean, well, we were pregnant and stuff. I'm not gonna sign up for another term just yet. I feel like we need to just hold off on our career and everything, which is so sad. It's so, so, so sad because what she wanted to do is just has to, like, like, she just has to just not think about what she wants to do in life anymore because of the kids and she just doesn't have the time to do all that stuff anymore. So it's kind of, it's so sad. It's so sad. But I know that she'll get through it. This is so loud. Like, why is this so loud? It doesn't even, it doesn't phase her. She'll get through it. But I think I'm going to go ahead and age them up. Because I don't want them to be, um, these little objects anymore. <laughs> I don't want them to be the little objects anymore. Anxiety intensifies. Oh my gosh, she's like really going through it, y'all. She needs therapy, I think. I think she really needs therapy, like honestly. Apparently she's bleeding and stuff, which I don't know. We need pads and stuff, but we have zero simoleons. Like, what is life right now? Like... We have zero simoleons. I'm going to go and see if we can, like, ask. <laughs> if we can ask for some money. Because I need some money. I'm going to go and bring over, um, Kareem. And see if he wants to hang out. She's about to be our enemy, y'all. She really is. She needs to go pee. Go pee, girl. Go use the bathroom. Okay, so Kareem is here, and this bitch is about to get on my nerves, but we're going to go and, um, <laughs> literally go and ask him if he can give us some money. Is that bad? We can't even provide formula for these babies, okay? We need it bad, and I don't want him to think that we're using him, though. 
I mean, but we kind of are. Go Larga. Ah, Cubepta. Oh my god! Oh my god, is that enough money though? Oh my god, thank you so much. She gave us 437. Oh! Y'all. He said, I got you. I'll just cash at you real quick. Oh my god, you guys. Oh, money ain't an issue for him. Money ain't an issue for him. Y'all peeped that he was he was doing the same thing um in like when we had our baby shower or gender reveal. He did the same thing. He was like a hundred and something. Now you're crying. Now you're crying, huh? Go and cuddle and then we're gonna go and um let's go and bottle feed. Since we got some money for our formula. <laughs> I'm gonna change her dirty diaper. Okay, she doesn't want to be cuddled. She definitely, she's probably hungry. She probably hungry. Does she got blue eyes? I think she did have blue eyes. Oh, she does. She definitely does got blue eyes. Okay, I'm coming, Zamaya. I'm coming. I gotta take care of your sister, too. Oh, she's feeling happy now. <laughs> the main reason why she's feeling happy is because she asked for money. <laughs> I'm dead. Like, why is Delilah a mood? Like, why is she such a mood? Oh, she has brown eyes. Oh, no, green eyes. Girl, where are y'all getting these these eye colors from? Is Dwayne really not the daddy? Because we're going to age up. Um, let's do Delaya first. So, age her up. Because these kids are annoying. They're annoying. Um, Dwayne has sent, um, Delaya a gift. Look for it arriving. Oh, he sent... Oh, Jamal sent Delaya a gift away. What about Demaya? <laughs> now I'm not sending my baby, D um, Demaya a gift. Okay, so Delaya, I feel like she... <laughs> look at this. Um, I feel like they're both just gonna be brats. Like, honestly. Um, yeah, I didn't want to make her a Buddha bite. <laughs> And then I'm gonna make um her sister basically she's gonna be um a brat. Cause I mean they're both brats, but you know. Okay, Zamaya, it's your turn. Happy birthday. Okay, so they sent oh Sean sent a gift too. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, let's go make her a brat. Cause she's just gonna be a brat, of course. Alright, y'all, they need a makeover real big, but um, yeah, I'll be right back with you guys. Y'all, yeah, so Kareem actually left, but I do want to show you guys the twins. So, here's our baby girls. Like, look how fucking good. Look how cute yeah, my baby girls are. Like, look at them. They have, like, really brown eyes, like, super light brown eyes. And just like the mother. Because she has, no, no, she has, like, dark eyes dark brown eyes but they came out like with super light brown and I'm gonna say that like their eyes are like super light brown because um you know they were in the womb for a really long time and obviously they don't have like the cellular light so I'm gonna say that like, these are not their actual eye color just yet um but these are not like completely their eye color. They're they might get darker or they might just stay like this. But yeah. And they also do have like a little bit of like skin. Um not really sure what it's called, but it looks like their skin is a little bit patchy. They have like patchy skin and stuff because like they're newborns and they just, you know, were just born and you know, their skin is exposed to the light now. But before they were in the womb and nothing was like, you know. They weren't exposed to no light or anything like that. So, yeah, and they have a really, like, they have a lot of hair and everything. Like, look. Oh, my God. So cute. And this is De um, Delaya. Delaya has light brown hair. And her, um, her sister has, like, a dark um, brown. So, yeah. I don't know if it's going to change, though. They're just newborn. So, their futures are definitely going to change a lot, y'all. But look at them. Oh my god, my babies! They are the cutest! 
Um, but anyway, so yeah, they're just chilling and stuff. They're just being what newborns be. Um, she is super sleepy, but Kareem left us, y'all. Like, I don't know where he went, but he gave us $400. And, like, I appreciate that so, so, so much. And now we can get some, like, pads and everything like that. But we're about to go and sleep for a little bit. So it's the morning time, and Delilah's making some chocolate chip pancakes. Um, she's feeling super uncomfortable right now. She still is super sad about the babies and all this other stuff. So I feel like we should definitely go, like, counseling or try and, like, help the situation that we're currently in. But I feel like she loves her children as much as, like, I feel like she loves them. But it's just, like, postpartum depression, I think. That's what she's going through right now. Um, and also because when she was pregnant, she just felt like the whole world was crumbling on her. And so now that she had the babies, it's just like, oh, my God, like, I'm actually a mother. And I actually have to, like, you know, prepare bottles and change diapers. Who are you? You are going to get deleted. But, yeah, so it's just, like, a lot for her and stuff. But, I mean, she's getting through it. She still wants to do what she, she wants to still flirt with Amiria or Amira. So we're definitely going to be getting into that. But I feel like this is going to be um, a very, like, crazy challenge. Um, ew. These are very poor, girl. You gonna make some good chocolate chip pancakes? She's like, oof. Damn. It's like the... Is, is the syrup spoiled? Then the syrup is spoiled, y'all. But I do want her to go ahead and edit her video. The babies are okay. They usually just want food. Um, but she did feed them during the night. Julian wants to talk to us. Do you know what I heard at school today? No, because I don't care. I don't care. See, look, we're getting some money from our YouTube and stuff, so that's good. So we're going to go and hire this. And then we can also go and open up our um, subscriptions. Dwayne, hey beautiful, I'm wearing your favorite outfit. You want to come over and see it? No, you're weird. He's just such a player. Like, he's just so ugh. But I wonder if the girl had her baby yet. I wonder if she did. Hold on, let me see if we could see that. If he had, um, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Okay, so... Let's see if he had his kid. Oh, he did. Half sister, Heidi. Her name. Her name is Heidi Dawson. Oh my God, he has three kids, y'all. Heidi and her mother is Michaela. Oh my God. <laughs> Heidi is a really cute name, though. I like Heidi. Oh my God, Lord. I don't know how this is gonna happen, but. Anyways, y'all, we're gonna go and hire this repair service, and I think that will be it for this episode. Honestly, it was just, like, us giving birth to our baby girls and spending some time with them, but they are literally beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys have not already. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, what you guys think is gonna happen next what do you guys think okay and let me know what you guys think about the twins as well and their names but yes i hope you guys have an amazing day and i'll talk to you guys in my next one bye Mwah. you're so fun i can't get you off my